Hmm, looks like we got another Simplex 4903 series alarm, this time in vertical mount. Well, let me just say this right now, this is not the same 4903-9220 I have been showing you the past couple of years now, maybe four years or so. This right here is the 4903-9220 I've been showing you the past couple of years. And just to prove to you, there it is. Simplex 4903-9220, there's your mechanical horn right down there. Essentially what this is, is a vertical mount version of the Simplex 4903-9219. Now, I'm going to say this right here. The alarm you're looking at now is not another one of those 9220s. So what could this possibly be? So here we have two alarms that are kind of similar. The one to the left is my Simplex 4903-9146, and obviously the one to the right is the subject of this video, the 9147. Well, obviously, they're obviously different mounting styles, but in some ways they're the same, pretty much. Obviously, this one right here has the fire lettering going this way, and this one right here has the fire lettering going this way. This one is more like, you know, standard installations, that sort of thing, while this one's more designed for retrofit applications, such as retrofitting over a 2903, for example. Uh, those big mounting plates, you, you would have to stick it on some kind of mounting plate. But I guess these could be standalone installs, too, if you want to say that. Now, this is where things get interesting. Obviously, Here's the backs of the two. This one's the 4903-9146, and this one is the 4903-9147. Now, this does get a little bit interesting, because as you may notice, the backs of the speakers look almost exactly the same. As you can see, there's the same transformer, pretty much. There's the same speaker module. So, they're pretty much the same, except for the way they mount. Now, as you may notice, this one has a 15 Candela sticker, while this one does not. This one is still 15 Candela, even though there is no sticker in there. Now, how do I know this? Obviously, there's the sticker on the back of the unit. I might have showed you this earlier, but... Let me just say this. These are both the same, too, because they both have 15 Candela strobes. Now, this one is a slightly newer unit, while this one's a slightly older unit. I believe this one is from the mid-90s. And this one is from 2000, according to a stamp in the plastic that says 2000. I'll have to show you sometime, but all I gotta say, the, uh, the later strobes, like this one, they flash a little bit slower to catch up with the 60 flashes a minute. One flash a second, pretty much. It's a little bit more ADA. This one's pre-1996, I think. So it's going to flash a little bit faster, so we'll have to see. Now comes the fun part of the video, actually testing the alarm itself. So first we're going to start off with the strobe. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hmm, this one does not flash as much as I thought. Shut off the lights up here. Let's shut off the room lights. That's enough of that. Let's 
let it go for a little bit. And now the strobe goes off. Now to activate this strobe of the pull station, I'll be using my Simplex, actually ADT3403. Now wait a minute, I said ADT even though it clearly says Simplex right over there. Well, if you've seen my fire alarm collection video, you might be able to get an idea, but in case you haven't seen it, I'll give you a little bit of a rundown. Even though it says Simplex right here, uh, this was actually resold by ADT. It says ADT on the inside. And it has a catalog number of 3403. But it's still pretty close to a simplex pull station, even though obviously there's the ADT key up there. And it's a lot different than the B key, let me just say that. So, without further ado, let's pull it. Now let me reset this, stick the, uh, I'll just show you here, here's the ADT key, a little bit different, just stick it in there, Obviously the strobe would keep going obviously if this was on a panel setup, but this is just a simple test setup I'm doing and While I'm at it. Let me just shut off the main power here I'll show you the inside of the pulse station And this is the same pulse station I used in the video of the 9220 Now I don't have that much of a lead right here, so I'll do the best. Actually. I got a reasonable amount of lead, so There you go 80 T 3403 right there. Obviously there's ADT in there. So there's that. Let me just zoom it out. There you go. And just for fun, let's key it. See obviously just opening up the pole station will close the switch, that sort of thing, and then activate the panel. In this case, it's just activating the strobe. Let's close that. Obviously, like I said, if it were on the panel setup, the strobe would keep going as the panel's active until it's reset. But it's still fun doing it this way, let me just say that. Continuing with testing the alarm, we'll test the speaker now. So first I'm going to do something a little bit strange. I'm going to play the female firelight voice evacuation message. Now, you might be saying, oh, what are you doing? You should play the simplex message. Well, you never know. There might be a system out there that has these or the vertical strobed equivalent, and they happen to be on a firelight voice evacuation panel for some reason. Maybe it was an upgrade after the simplex system. You never know. They're out there. And a lot of you, the viewer, have noticed, hey, there might be a system with this, this, something I, like I might have shown in the video. So, you guys seem to get a little bit of a kick out that, so I'll do that. So, enough chit chat. Let's play the fo Firelight Voice Evac message. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? The signal you have just heard indicates a report of a fire in this building. Please proceed to the nearest exit and leave the building. Do not re-enter the building unless directed to do so by the proper authorities. Now let's play the Simplex voice evacuation message. As you might have known, I probably said this a couple of times before, but this is the default voice evacuation message. You might have heard this, you know, on a Simplex 4100, 4100U equivalent. The sound effects might be a little bit different there because they're slightly updated, that sort of thing. Bottom line, this is the classic Simplex voice evacuation message everybody seems to know and love, so why not? I got a Simplex speaker here. So, 
Without further ado, let's play the simplex voice evacuation message. Three, two, one. It's just going to slow loop until it turns. So we're, let's just say the silent system has no sound. Even though obviously there's no strobe going yet. That's later in the video. That's all I got to say. And I did forget to mention that I do have the speaker on 1 watt. You might have seen a little bit earlier there's a plug in there. You stick it in. Uh, that changes the wattage selection setting. Now that I bring it up, why not mix it up a little and show you where it was for the speaker demo. So for the speaker demo, I had it on one watt right here. So if I wanted to change it to two watts, I just stick the plug in here, 0.25 watts, which is really one quarters of a watt, stick it in there. And then obviously, last but not least, a half watt, 0.5 rather, stick it in there. Now for the demo, I had it over here for one watt. So that should give you an idea of how the somewhat older speaker strobes from Simplex had the volume setting pretty much. The wattage setting is pretty much the volume setting. So one watt is not as loud as two watts, but still loud enough, I would say. Ah yes, the return of the Simplex pull station. Isn't that awesome? Well, obviously what I'm going to try to do is simulate a simplex voice evacuation setup. Now the panel these might be on would be some kind of simplex 4100 series setup with voice evacuation built in. A 4100U series setup, uh, although they would be playing the newer style Whoop, and maybe even the 4100ES, again, playing the newer style Whoop. Now, with the 4100U and 4100ES, they would be more than likely, they would more than likely use the true alerts as opposed to these. However, it is still possible to use these on a setup like that. If the 4100 was upgraded to one of those two panels or something like that, or maybe even a completely new install with these. After all, I believe they still are in production, or they're at least still being sold by Simplex. I'm not too sure. If anybody would like to clarify me on that, please do. But anyways, let's pull it. use the elevator. 
elevator. Walk to the nearest stairway. Attention. 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 An emergency has been reported. All occupants walk to the nearest stairway exit and walk down to your assigned re-entry floor or main lobby. Do not use the elevator. Walk to the nearest stairway. Do not use the elevator. Walk to the nearest stairway. I'm just going to silence this here. Now maybe at that point everybody would be out of the building or so. Maybe this would be like 10-15 minutes later, hopefully. Uh, so let's say the panel's reset, the strobes are still going, they still need to reset the pull station. I'm going to let the strobe go for a little bit, but I'm going to reset the pull station now. Now, if this were on a panel setup, the strobe would obviously still be going, but obviously I don't have a panel setup for this video, so obviously this strobe goes off. Well, it's kind of a cool simulation, just do it like that, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video of my Simplex 4903-9147, and that'll be it.